Today, I'm gonna talk about arguably the best film camera Nikon has ever made. Nikon FM3A. Hey, what's up everyone? You good? This is Hyunmin John from HMJ Photography. I post videos about cameras and photography in three different languages, English, Japanese, and Korean, which YouTube al algorithm hates me, but I don't care because I know that you love me. So please like, subscribe, and share with your friends, families, and your loved ones. So, um, some of you may already know this, but recently I had my first ever photo exhibition in Seoul, Korea. So, to commemorate this, um, I decided to get myself a camera. And the camera that I decided on after um, thinking about a lot of other options, um, the one that I decided was Leica R6.2. So I went to the shop and I went to the guy and asked him, I want this one, pointing at the Leica R6.2. And the shopkeeper was like, sure, and he was um, fiddling with it and he realized, oh, this one's broken, which ended up that um, I couldn't buy it. So instead of that camera, I decided to get this beautiful Nikon FM3A. But to be really, really honest, um, I was kind of relieved that I got this one because like somewhere in my mind, I actually kind of wanted this one more than the Leica R6.2. So Nikon FM3A. This camera came out in 2001 and Nikon made this camera with their top-notch technology and quality. But sadly, um, it was discontinued in 2006 and this camera has become the last manual focus film camera Nikon has made. There was two very popular um, Nikon SLR cameras and those were Nikon FM2 and Nikon FE2 and what they did is they basically combined two of those cameras into one and the baby was this Nikon FM3A. Nikon FM2 is a fantastic camera, fully mechanic, fully manual, but it didn't have um, aperture priority mode. With Nikon FE2, it has aperture priority mode, but without battery, this camera becomes almost useless. However, with this Nikon FM3A, even without the batteries, you can use this camera perfectly. From um, bulb mode, a one second shutter speed, to four thousandths of a second shutter speed, just like Nikon FM2. But also, when you put in the batteries inside, I mean, of course, you can use the light meters, but also you can use aperture priority mode, just like Nikon FE2. So my point is, um, I really like this camera because you don't really have to worry so much with the batteries. And I tend to dislike um, cameras that like solely rely on batteries to, um, to operate because like you never really know what could happen. To be completely honest with you, I am a street photographer and I prefer rangefinder cameras like this Leica M6. Because like the body is more compact, the lenses are compact, it's very discreet and it's very quiet. However, there are some times that 
I also need an SLR camera like this one and let me talk more about why I love this camera so much. I personally think that cool looking cameras makes you want to take more pictures and look at this camera. It's super cool looking and like this classic design, it's beautiful. Another thing that I really loved about this camera is that, uh, well, just like other like some Nikon cameras, it's very easy to use um, multiple exposures. So it was very fun experimenting with it. Probably um, one of the very underrated um, features this camera has is that this camera can lock the shutter. So what I mean is like when it's like this, you can't take pictures. But when you release it like this, voila. So um, me personally, I have the habit that like when I press the shutter, I have to cock it. But when I do this and put my camera inside my bag, just it just fires on its own and there are some like blank frames. But with this camera, I don't have to worry about that. I like smaller discrete cameras. That's why I like rangefinders more than SLR cameras. However, um, when you um, pair this camera with this um, Nikkor AIS 50mm f1.8 pancake lens, um, the size is rather compact and it's not too bad. I actually quite like it. However, um, it can quickly become very big um, with some other lenses, so be careful. Speaking of lenses, um, this camera has Nikon F mount, so you can use full range of Nikon AI, AIS, P, AF, and AFD lenses, which are which can be very um, reasonably priced too. Of course, there were some things that I wasn't a huge fan of with this camera. And the first thing is um, focusing because it's only because I'm used to focusing using a rangefinder system and this is a little bit different. But I guess I'll get used to it. And another thing is the light meter. Um, and that's also because I'm used to my um, Leica or other cameras with LEDs. And with this one, um, it has a needle inside and it shows um, your um, exposures. And the thing I didn't like so much is that when it's dark, you can hardly see the needle. But actually, like some people like prefer this needle more, so it could be just my preference. To be honest, um, this um, Nikon FM3A cannot replace my um, Leica rangefinders because um, to my kind of photography, um, this camera just works much, much better. However, um, there are some things that um, this FM3A can do, but my Leica rangefinders can't do, so um, I am very happy that I got this camera and I am very sure that I will be using this camera a lot too. Thank you very much. Please like, subscribe and share. Until next time.